Hello everyone. Pixel Game Maker just released their first installment of DLC in a total of three different packs. So in today's video, we're going to look at how you get DLC from Pixel Game Maker, what all comes with this current DLC release, and then we're also going to explore the sample project a little bit. And with that, let's get started. All right, so here we are on the store page of Pixel Game Maker MV. If you need a quick link there, you can go to the library, select Pixel Game Maker, and go to store page. And then when we scroll down a little bit, we'll see that we now have some downloadable content for this software. And we have three different sets. One of them is paid, and then two are free. So this first one that's paid is going to be a weapon assets. It has 100 varieties, and then it also comes with a dot robot set. So if we click into this, we can purchase it. So that's one thing you'll need to do is purchase it. You, can, you have a little preview of it right here, but you'll have to purchase it first. I've already purchased it, so it comes up with this review screen. Now, once you do purchase it, you can go to your Pixel Game Maker, and it will this will automatically happen. You won't have to install it or anything, but you will have in your sample tab two new projects. So you're going to be looking for a dot .robo. This is the dot .robo, and it's basically a, a complete game that has logic in it that you can look at and stuff like this, and then it also has assets that you can use. Now, do remember that, yes, it does contain a few different languages, and that is because these samples are shared between the three editor languages, so it's important to, to note that. The next sample that it comes with, because remember it's, it talked about 100 uh, weapons, and that is the form of this T-Cool characters. Now, there is an original T-Cool characters that comes with MV assets and Fez assets, but this T cool characters and then plus 100 is going to be a new sample that comes with the DLC. So when we click into this, and I'll just say new T cool, and I'll click into it, and when the project's done creating, we can go to the resources here, and we can see that there is a new folder that the other T cool project doesn't have and these are going to be those 100 variety of weapons and you'll see that they have 20 different varieties of axes uh, 20 different varieties of bows and then you can go to lances if you're going for a, a secret of mana type game maybe and then swords which are pretty cool hey that one looks familiar and then also some wands for the mage types out there. Pretty cool looking wands. And if you remember, this sample project is is a ABS or a active RPG. So you can it has the sword going in this motion, which is actually easy to reproduce. So one, you could actually use these weapons just as actual weapons, or you could use these as, say, even icons in a menu. So these would be your different axes that you could get through the game. So there, there's a few different ways you can use the resources. If you wanted to grab them out directly, you would go to File, Open Project Folder. And then over here, you would go to Images. And you can see the weapons are going to be in here. You might have to scroll down a little bit to get the rest of the weapons. But this is where you'd grab them. So you'd get as many as you want, and then you'd copy them and then you put them in the folder that you want to, to pull the resources from. So that's it for this DLC. We'll go into, I'm gonna close this. We'll go into the dot robo up here. We'll go into this last probably. So let's get into the, the free music packs. All right, so we'll go back to the Steam store and I'll have to go back to the downloadable content here. And so we have the Go and Gone Square Mix music pack. And if I click into this, I have already downloaded this one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you where the pack goes and then I'm going to download the next one so that you can see that process as well. So I've already downloaded this. I can leave a review if I want. Now where this file actually goes is it goes into your, you have to go PC, C, and uh, probably Programs 86 and then in your Steam folder, and then into Steam Apps, Common, you're going to look for Pixel Game Maker, 
and then right here you can see the music pack go and gone square and you click into this and you'll have your uh, readme text you'll have your image of the the cover sheet and then you'll have all of your new songs that you can get so this is how you would grab those songs these won't come in a sample per se so you you won't have a project to grab them out of they just come in this pack that you get through this directory all right so now that i'll just minimize this now that we know how to get them i'll just click out of here and then i'll go to the low bit one and so when i click into it this is how it will look actually and so you can see right here it says download pixel game maker and v low bit music pack and i'll click download so it's going to do its thing you can see that it's now downloading over here it pops up pixel game maker but if you went to refresh the sample tab there is no new pack here but what did update was if i go back to here and i go to the pixel game maker folder we can scroll down and it's the name was low bit i believe So if we go to low bit music pack, all right, so it was not done downloading yet. So now we have the music pack for low bit. And if we double click into it, we can, it will load up all of our music. I don't know why sometimes my, my music files do this, but we can extend this and we can see all that we got. We got a battle against darkness. And these are actually some really cool songs. I listened to, to a few of them. They're actually pretty cool songs that I would use in a game for sure. And then you got the README, and I'm guessing it comes with that. Yep, there's the cover for it, if you wanted to, to show for credits or something. All right, so that is the DLC as far as how to get the packs go, how to get the free ones, and what happens when you get the purchased one. Now let's go into that last sample project, which is the uh, dot robo. So before I click, I'll just name this dot robo and then I'll click on it. We'll create that project sample and I'm just going to hit play here. And we'll see that you just have a game where you can just get started. You can hit play, you jump in a robot, click start, kind of a similar setup to Mega Man. And it does have sound. I know I don't have sound on. But then here you go. You can charge up just like Mega Man. And you can shoot. Now a couple things I will point out that wasn't really obvious to me at first is you can press Y and you can uh, jump out. And when you are the little person, this is very similar to Metal Warriors. I don't know if you ever <laughs> remember Metal Warriors. But... Um, you can see behind walls as the person. And then you can press Y, or nor the North button, and you can get back in your robot. Now also, I couldn't figure out how to jump farther, but if you press up and X, if you press up and X, you can actually do a little grab. And so if you are getting stuck as far as jumping goes, that's how you would do that. So yeah, I'd press up right here, get up, but it's really cool because you can use your little person here to actually get advantages. So, and I'll just point this out and let you guys play around with the rest. There is one thing I do want to bring up though, and that is that there is no keyboard access at first. So if you don't have a controller and you need the keyboard access, this is how you would go about doing that. Basically, they set up the the robot players or, or all the players that are associated with this game, they set it up to only work or, or to be hard set to controllers. So we just have to change a few things. You'll go to resources, you'll go to variables, and you're going to look at where they run the one player controller ID. And you can see that it's ran in four different places. One, two, three, four. Now these, these next three uh, start with scenes. And so scenes is just things that are placed on the scene. So we don't have to change any of those. We only want to change in the objects tab. And that's what this first parent is referring to. What tab? 
objects tab. All right, so we want to change these from one. So I'm going to right click and say move to. It's going to move to where that is being ran and I'm going to double click into it and I'm just going to change it to negative one. And negative one means any input. So it will take keyboard, it will take controller, etc. So then we're just going to go back and we're going to repeat that process for the next four. We're going to find all of them and hit negative one. The other thing too is you could just remove them and it would be the same way. But just to also show that you can do it this way, I'll go negative one on this. And so then the, I should only have one more. All right. So now that they are all negative one, you will be able to now use the keyboard as far as movement goes and stuff. There is one more thing to change though. Go to settings, go to control key management, and you'll see that the A button is not set to anything. So you are going to want to set it to, to something. Let's see if space is used, nope. So I'm just gonna set it to space and that will be my jump. If you do notice anything else, just come over here and put in the keyboard version of that key name. And then we can hit OK and play test again. And I'm using the keyboard now. This stuff will all work for the keyboard. It was mainly just when you could control the character, that's when it didn't want to use the keyboard because the player was hard set to one. So now look, now I'm using the keyboard right now. I'm shooting, I'm charging. I didn't wait long enough. There we go. And now I'm jumping. All right. And then if I press S, I get out. And then I can do everything. All right. So I just wanted to point that out because it was brought up. And so, yeah, if you use keyboard, you're definitely going to want to do this. So I hope this video helped. Uh, we got to download the new DLC see exactly where they go, do a little troubleshooting in the projects um, if you need it. And with that, we'll see you at the next video.